Dozens of people displaced after a massive fire at an apartment complex in North Phoenix. This happened around 1.30 in the morning. Fox 10's Danielle Miller is live now with the details on what happened. Danielle. Christina, this fire happened at that apartment complex on 23rd Avenue, just off of the 101. It took nearly 70 firefighters to knock down that fire. And although it was uh, extremely bad, displaced a lot of people. Luckily, there were no serious injuries. I just seen flames and cops, just firefighters. Yeah. Go ahead, Not a good wake up call for those living in these apartments on 23rd Avenue near the 101. 24 people and a few animals all displaced now after their apartments became engulfed in flames. Eight units are a total loss. Phoenix Fire giving us this video showing firefighters as they battled the fire. One adult male was transported to the hospital with minor burn injuries. Luckily, everyone made it out safely, waiting for them and ready to help the Red Cross. With this many, we have about three or four volunteers head out there. And so each once the fire is out, we get all clear clearance from the uh, Phoenix Fire Department. We're going to be talking to the individuals, the residents of the apartment fire, and we speak to them and see what their situation is. Uh, if they'll need a place to stay, like a hotel, food, clothing, uh, we talk to the, each of them and we give them debit cards. So they can go out and get food for themselves and a place to stay. The Red Cross relies on these volunteers and donations to make helping victims possible. Depending on their situation, it could be a week or so, but uh, you know, some maybe only need a couple of days to really find another place to stay or, or stay at a residence place. But uh, we make sure they're safe and we're with them all the way through to the end until they're back on their feet. They do. The Red Cross is always looking for volunteers as well as donations to help in times like this. Now, as far as that fire, it is still under investigation. Reporting live, Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News.